Hey, crafty friends. I have another amazing stamp set. This one is from La La Land Crafts with Simon Says Stamp for their Stamp Timber Celebration. So for today's card project, I'm creating this really nice winter scene. This is the exclusive stamp set from La La Land Crafts with Simon Says Stamp called Fabulous Holiday. And I believe this is an ostrich. I hope I'm right because that's how I colored them, but we have these adorable images along with some coordinating sentiments. So I am going to start by stamping these images onto 80 pound white cardstock using some black ink that is Copic friendly since I will be doing some Copic coloring. So after I stamped them twice to make sure I have a really good impression, I actually went over to Google. I know what an ostrich looks like, but when it came to like the legs and the beak, I really wasn't sure exactly what I should be coloring them. And like I said, if this isn't an ostrich, please correct me, but pretty sure it is. So I, that's what I Googled was ostrich. And I found actually quite a few variations. So for the main part, yes, we have the body that is kind of that really dark gray, almost black. So that is the color scheme I used for the body. But when it came to the head, the neck and the legs, now that varied. I seen a few different pictures. Some had like a pinkish skin to them. Others, um, maybe a faint yellow, but then there were a lot of them that were this light gray. And I thought the light gray just looked really well with this. And that is the color tone that I went with. Now, after I finished coloring in the body, I was moving on to the belt. Well, now normally I would color the belt black, but considering the body is black, I wanted it to stand out. So I did it in some shades of red along with the hat and then I colored in the present. So in one present, I did the whole thing. The other one it's holding, I did the ribbon. And then I also added red to the pamphlet that the other animal is singing Christmas carols from. And then a little bit to the scarf. So I went with classic Christmas colors. I did the other present and ribbon in the green along with the hat. Then for the beak, I did some shades of yellow. I thought that just kind of popped off of the scene a little bit more and I almost forgot that other ribbon. So I just came in and quickly colored that in. Then I fussy cut my images out and set them off on the side to work on my background, which for this, I'm starting with the silhouette snow trees. Now these are from Mama Elephant. I just recently purchased them. I really wanted to use them and thought they would work well for my background. So I die cut them from 80 pound white cardstock and I started by ink blending on some Aspen ink from Simon Says Stamp. I just did it mainly to one side of the tree and I did that for both of them. There's a big one and a small one. Then I'm coming in on the other side using pine and this one is really dark. So I did tap off excess a little bit and just kind of blended it blended that on so it would fade off into that lighter green. Then for the background, I wanted to do a really nice bright blue I thought would really make the critters pop off the, the card a little bit more. And I'm starting with a flat blending brush, which is what I like to use when it comes to applying a lot of color to my background. And that first layer I did was in sea foam and I had it fade off down towards the bottom. Now I'm coming in with ocean. Now this one is quite different from the sea foam. So I'm just going really light handed, blending that down. And I brought my images in to just see how the scene was going and decided I wanted to have a third color at the very top to really bring in the contrast. And for that, I'm doing cadet ink. So that's just really at the top that I added that. Now I am very much like every crafter where you just buy a ton of stuff and then it sits. And one of the things I purchased recently was the sentiments sentiment set. I think this is Christmas blessings from Simon says stamp. Beautiful, beautiful sentiments along with coordinating dyes. And I splurged. I bought the whole kit and caboodle because I love having a coordinating die for my sentiments. So I stamped this one in black ink, die cut it out with that coordinating die. And then I'm flicking on some Copic ink that I mixed with some water to give the illusion of snow. And now I could start building in my scene. So I really didn't add a hill to the very bottom of my card. I had the ink fade off. So it kind of looks like snow because really the trees and the critters are going to cover up quite a bit of the card front. So I'm adding the trees with my tweezers and a liquid glue. And I wasn't going to pop the trees up because I already had planned to pop the critters up. So after I'm attaching these trees kind of one on each side, 
I can then flip my critters over and add some foam squares. Now, some of the foam squares I did have to trim down so that it would fit those smaller areas. And I also added foam squares to my sentiment. So I can just remove the backing of all of those foam squares. One bird is going to be a little bit higher than the other just so I can get them to fit nicely on the front of the card. And then here I am adding the sentiment and I really loved doing this digging from my stash, from things that I purchased. There are some great sentiments on the stamp set that you can use. I'm just really trying to dig in my stash and use what I have. I'm finishing it off using the unicorn stickles, adding it to the Santa hat to give it a little sparkle. So once again, this stamp set is part of the Stamp Timber celebration with Simon Says Stamp. It is exclusive to Simon and only available while supplies last. I will have all of the supplies listed down below in my video description and over on my blog as well. Thanks so much for joining me.